I am back with another video. Um, so right now I'm giving Cappy a bath because he's starting to feel kind of greasy. Um, what I did was I soaked it from pretty much here to here with water, make sure it's lukewarm and everything. Sorry, I totally forgot that um, I wanted to make a video about this until I was halfway done giving him a shampoo. So right now I'm using, um, let's see here, lemon tea tree and lavender shampoo by Gorgeous Kitty. I highly recommend um, checking out their website. They have amazing shampoos for your guinea pig and it smells amazing. So, alright, after, and I also have a towel down here so he doesn't slip. Um, so after you're done shampooing him, what I do is I set him up here on another towel so he can just chill for a second while I um, get the water ready for him again. He is really good with bath time, unlike Watson. Watson just jumps and everything. That's why I decided halfway through that I should make a video on how to give a bath. So, um, you don't want to have the water running while they're in the, uh, bath because that can be really scary for them. Make sure it's a good temperature, not too hot, not too cold. Um, yep, so with a good lukewarm temperature. If anything, make it a little bit warm, don't make it colder. Uh, let's see. A little more. Okay, buddy. Almost done, almost done. Alright, that should be about the water level you'd like. Put down a towel. Okay, buddy, back in the water. And just stay close to them because, again, this is kind of like a scary experience for them. And just rinse off all the soap. Um, with boars, you want to clean their um, grease glands after a while because it can get pretty gunky. And if you don't take care of that, they can actually get really sick. So be sure to do that as well. I can do a video about that later, but for now, I'm just going to do a video on giving Cappy a bath. Um, and as for their face and between their ears and stuff, don't use shampoo or anything. You don't want to get it in their eyes or in their ears. So just be careful with that. What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to rinse out this water and rinse him one more time. That way we can make sure that we got all the suds out. And get under his belly. Oh yeah. Get under his belly. You don't want that to be too soapy either. And um, yeah, because you don't want to leave any kind of soap residue on them. Alright, one second buddy. Oh yeah. Yep, one second. I'm going to put a towel on you so you don't, so you don't get too cold. Oops. Cappy's so good. Look at him. Sorry, I have some help today. Oh, he's so good. Alright. Rinse out the sink. Rinse the towel. And he gets to filling it to the correct temperature again. back down. He doesn't slip. I recommend giving your guinea pigs a bath in the sink instead of in the bathtub. That way it's less like daunting for them. Smaller space, you can be closer to them. Did we get all the soap out, buddy? Did we? And then I just go like this. Oh, oh, he wants to hang on here. Just clean water, no soap or anything on his cheeks. 
and on his forehead. Oh. <laughs> all right. All right, you're all done, buddy. Here, let me get a clean towel for him. I know I'm using all the towels right now. All right, let's go, buddy. Bath time is over. Catch a butt. Yeah, he really needed a bath. And just dry them off. Make sure to dry them off thoroughly before you put them back in their um, cage, just because you don't want them getting sick, as they are pretty um, sensitive animals to uh, temperature. So, yeah, you don't want them catching like a cold or anything, guinea pig cold. Oops, don't get my hair in your face, buddy. Um, I would say you can use a blow dryer on them if it's on the very lowest setting and you hold it pretty far from them. I generally just towel dry my boys. Then I keep them warm in the towel until they're pretty much fully dry before I put them back in. I hold them close and kind of snuggle with them while they're in their towel. He's pretty much almost dry, actually, so. Oh, what's wrong? Does that bother you, little guy? You don't like it when I go against your hair, the way it flows? Messing up your hairdo? And let's get this side a little more. So, yeah. And then... And this towel's wet, so... Dry towel! Yay! Dry towel! Get your face. And if you do end up using a blow dryer, I would recommend like giving them a treat. That way it's they don't concentrate on running around and being scared. That way they can focus all on their yummy snack. And they don't have to be scared of the blow dryer as much. And also when you're blow drying them, stay close to them. Did your butt dry yet? Almost? Whoa. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, his fur is essentially dry. There's a couple spots where it's still a little wet, but he should be fine. And it's a nice day out, so I might let him outside. Soak up some sunlight. Dry outside. Alright, I'm not going to do a video on Watson because honestly, he is pretty bad with bath time. Kathy's just so good. Alright, Kathy. Want to say bye? No. You're sad that it was bath time. <laughs> Alright, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye!